What is going on, you guys? It's your boy, Mr. Draconator. Uh, before we get started on our topic for today, which is actually my first recommended topic, which is really cool. I actually got something recommended to me by a friend, but it was still a recommendation, so I thought I'd do it. Uh, just uh, the amount of views I got on my last video was really good for me. For most YouTubers, that's it's hardly anything. But, um, for me, it was, I mean, I think it may have reached, like, 140 views now. And so I just want to say thank you real quick, because that's a lot for me. So I, I really appreciate that. Okay, so now to today's topic, which is a pretty common argument, but I've always had my side of it. And that's between two survivor perks again. Uh thinking my next video should be killer oriented just because I actually have made a lot of survivor per or survivor videos now. I'm gonna go back to a killer and try to keep switching that up. I do have killer gameplay here though, so I'm kinda combining them both this time. Anyway. So spine chill. You probably know what this does, but I wanna clarify um, a few points about it. You know that the killer is looking right in your direction from 36 meters away. That's probably the part that everybody knows. Makes sense. If he's just even through walls, if they're looking right where you're at, you're going to know that. This doesn't work on Tier 1 Myers. That's for, yeah. I think Spine Show would be picked up so often if it did. Because it's just, whenever you read the description of Spine Chill, it's just like, it, should, it could just say, this counters Myers. And it would make sense. Um, <laughs> and then, the l last point, this is kind of like where I start stating my opinions on the perks. Um, I think this is useful if you do actions that have you standing in the same spot for a while. Uh, so this is mainly to focused on people that love going for the objective. They want to get those generators completed. They want to get that exit gate open. And even people that sabotage, they still have to stand still. Uh, not as important for them, though, because uh, killers typically don't like check their hooks. It's just not one of their priorities. They have bigger things to worry about than the hooks. Uh, but that's still valid. And that's kind of what that perk is oriented more about. It's toward those people that just want to do actions that require them to stay still. And then we have Premonition. Uh, so this allows you to detect the killer, you yourself, okay? Like, and that's one of the major differences between the two. Spine Chill is more focused on if the killer decides to look at you. Premonition is if you decide to look at the killer. And basically what it does is, if the killer is 36 meters away or closer, and you look in his direction within a 45 degree cone, then the perk goes off, letting you know that he's over there. Uh, this perk actually has a cooldown, unlike Spine Chill, of 30 seconds at level 3. And both the both of those stats are for the level three of the perks. Um, sorry, um, I don't think the perk should be used unless it's level three. They're just not as worth it for me. There are certain perks that are, you know, like like Iron Grasp level one, you know. So I'm not I'm not just like because I know both of my previous videos have only focused on level three of the perk. There are perks that work without level three. These two are just not that, not among that category. But, yeah, so level 3. Um, this makes you more, unlike Spine Chill, like, you know more acutely. Sorry, that's for the math terms, but, like, you do. You know much more specifically where the killer is. With Spine Chill, you know they're looking in your direction, but they could be anywhere within that 360 degrees around you. With Premonition, it's just right there. You just... Mm. That's my preferred perk, and for me, but that's, you know, that's not an argument. I can't just say, well, I prefer premonition, so it's better. Um, <laughs> now that's not going to work, but 
for me, I think this perk is better for saving people. So, like, if uh, you want to go save a hooked survivor that you're not in a call with, you're not talking to them directly, and you're unsure of where the killer is in relation to them, Premonition's really good for that. It lets you know if they're camping or if they're just even anywhere near them at all. And so that's why I prefer it, because I like to go for hook saves. Uh, sometimes a little bit too much, because my friends get mad at me because I keep the killer at the hook, because I want to save them too bad. Anyway, and I also think it's pretty good for distracting the killer. Now this is a side that is a bit more arguable, but for me, like, I do like distracting the killer at times. And, uh, sometimes, like, we'll be, uh, we'll be kind of in a long chase, and, uh, we'll reach, like, a pallet town, or maybe, like, a place in Crotus Print Asylum where there's, like, a lot of walls. Sometimes I lose track of where the killer is, and sometimes that premonition, um, like, noise will tell me, like, it reassures me exactly where they're at. That's very situational. It, t it takes really good timing for that to be valid, but it still is there. Uh, so that's kind of more what it's oriented around. It's for the people that are running around and just, like, never staying still. They're always just moving and trying to really take action rather than sitting and repairing. There's nothing wrong with sitting and repairing. That's still good for the team. I'm not saying that. But they just are doing something else for the team. And so... In a way, I think it comes down to your play style. Uh, I don't think any one perk is better than the other. For me, Premonition is, but that's only because it fits my play style. There's some people that probably hate Premonition. If you just don't like being altruistic, and you're not the type that likes to distract the killer, you probably hate Premonition. And that's fine. Uh, I think Spine Chill works better for new players... Certainly, or, yeah, because for a new player, what they want to do is repair. They don't, they aren't focusing on, like, the heavy plays, like, doing the hook save, or just, like, you know, looping the killer, or doing the 360 jukes, or anything like that. They want to be more safe, and so I think the perk is better for them. Uh, Time-wise, I'm trying to keep this video shorter, but just as a concluding statement I think you should contemplate um, the the like points I made in regards to what when each perk works best and decide which one do I do more do I stay still am I always repairing or am I sabotaging or whatever the case may be maybe even love cleansing totems uh, that's not a big one, but it's still there, then go Spine Chill. If you prefer running around like me, you run Premonition, you never run Spine Chill. I never run Spine Chill. I don't like it. But that's just me. Uh, so I think it comes down really to, once again, playstyle. Uh, again, much shorter video. That's just what I'm working toward, because it's a video... These videos are... People want to listen to them, but they can get boring quick, so I'm ending this one quicker, and I'm going to try to do that consistently. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm really enjoying like getting these videos up there, and I'm glad more people seem to be viewing them, and I really want to keep that fluency going and it keep raising. Uh, so other than that, that's about it. Very short, wanted to get to the point. I gave my explanation on both the perks, and other than that, I'll be back, my Terminators.